All right, man. See if we can catch some fish this morning. Some fishy fishy. Oh man, what do I need, what do I need, what do I need, what do I need? We're gonna head down to Lake Norman this morning and we're going to see if we can catch some stuff, catch some fish. cranking probably this morning my net rig and I got swim bait or a, a um excuse me a uh, fluke Nice. Med rag. Beautiful morning. This is what it's all about. The weather alone makes it worth it. Water is uh, 70 degrees. I'm in uh, 16 feet of water, 15 feet of water right here. So I'm probably 10 over there by those posts. I get any breakfast this morning. Spilled my coffee, didn't stop and get more. Once I get past these docks and get around there, there's some water that I typically do okay with. So we'll see. I get the feeling that the fish are deeper today. Because I know I just caught that one off that dock. The end of that end of that boathouse right there, our, our dock, is uh it's pretty deep. There we go. Man. Oh. Probably another little spot. Huh? Nice spot. I mean, for this lake, most of the spots are really pretty small here. So. They're fun to catch though, I, I have to admit. I'm seeing fish, like right here, I'm seeing fish on the bottom, and that's good. Um, stacked up, suspended vertically. They don't, it tells you something about what kind of mood they're in as far as feeding. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go deeper. They're, you know, I caught two that are probably in 25 feet of water at least. So, let's do that. 
right there, 20 feet of water, fish, they're in the bottom. So th those are fish, those are fish you can catch. I probably fish, it just depends on what the, how, how the fish are biting. Um, but I tend to fish it a little bit faster than a lot of people might. And if that's working, I'll stick with it. But I don't just automatically go slow. A lot of people just fish it slow. And they assume that that's a, a bait that you want to stop and let it sit with the tail up. And um, I, think, I, I think it should look like a dying, twitching bait fish along the bottom. And that's what kind of fish are looking for, are used to seeing in the fall. Because what happens is the, the, the bait fish are smaller. So that's what, one, one reason the net works really well. The water starts getting cold and they're expecting them at some point to start dying. It's a little bit early for the die off. It imitates that smaller, smaller shad fed that you see at the end of the year, fall, early winter. Keep going, dude. Yeah, come on out, keep going. Get on out of here. <laughs> oh man. Man, I'm hungry. Look at that. Yeah, I'm in shallower water. I'm, I'm not seeing them in shallow water. They're in 20 feet of water. So it sounds it's what it seems like. I usually see a lot of fish in here. Once I get past like this last dock right here, we'll see what happens. The problem, I'll tell you what the problem I'm seeing right now. There is no current here. You wanna see some current? And I'm not. Might have to go try some of the main lake uh, points. A little bit of wind, a little bit of current. I don't see some fish in here. 40 feet of water. Hmm. Okay, how much time do I want to spend here? I need to ask myself that question. Shit, I had a fish on there, I didn't even know it. It's not unusual for me to pick one up around that bridge base. Big spot, look at the size of that, that's a nice spot. And this is not, a, like I said, it's not unusual for me to hit something down there along that bridge base. But that's a, it's a decent spot for a spotted bass, for sure. Nice little spot. Let's see, maybe there's another one down there. It was so deep and I have such light line. I, could, I, could, I did pro probably couldn't tell he was even on there. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna let it sink. I 
my line. I've got, you know, I think I may have had this reel and this line um, on a drop shot rod and I may have moved it. Drop shots are, will twist your line up a lot of times. I'm in 30, I'm in like 38 feet of water, almost 40 feet of water right here where I caught that spot. Oh, I had another one. So they're down there on that bridge. Damn, he ran that. Boy, I didn't even know it until I saw my line was flying. Line was lit, was, I mean, flying. Uh, it looks like a big, looks like a hybrid. What is that? Is that a big spot? Or is that a hybrid? Looks like a hybrid. Damn, he hammered it. Hammered it. Hammered it. <laughs> like, like crazy. Crazy hammered it. Threw it out there. I was watching. I usually watch my line sink, and my line just shot. A little hybrid, man. Another one. I usually don't have trouble with the line twisting um, with the Ned rig. So, yeah, it's broken the line. Another uh, little spot. These fish are so aggressive. So I'm, I don't know, I'm in, uh, I'm in 20 feet of water, so I'm probably catching these in 35 feet of water. Been that way all day, 25 to 40 feet of water, something like that. Particularly here in the south, people a lot of people don't fish deep. I'm gonna go over here and hit some deeper water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work this point here. I'm on. I'm gonna work around these these this drop off here. So if I'm in uh, I'm in 25 feet of water, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fish right along the edge of that 30 to 40 foot line and see if I can pick something up. But so far, I mean, one rod, one bait. Um, you know, just, I haven't fished. I mean, I just started right over there, a quarter mile away, if, if that. Something felt weird there. I felt something, I felt the bump. Big fish is gonna spool me, look at that. You can see the spool through the line right there. Hey. Things seem to have calmed down. Might have to move along somewhere else. Yeah. Bridge. See if I can maybe catch another one, and then I, it might be time to go somewhere else. Let's see. You can 
see right there. Those are those are big fish right there. It's fish and they're just stuck, literally stuck to the bottom. 40 feet of water. See that right there? Stuck on the bottom. Very good sign. I'm not seeing them now. I mean, I ran over top of them, but I am in 40 feet of water. It's better than running over them in 15 feet of water. So how deep am I? 